everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another weekly vlog can you believe we're on weekly vlog number 40 that's 40 episodes where my canon g7x can decide not to focus on my face So guys, I know what you're thinking. I'm wearing my workout gear. I've probably had a really productive Tuesday evening. Not at all. <laughs> I just couldn't find a tank top this morning to go under my jumper, so I put this on instead. So anyway, I hope you all are doing really well. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how your week has been. Well, I guess it's a new week now because this is Tuesday, but you know, just let me know how you are. <laughs> let me know how this week is going for you. Uh, my week is going okay. It's kind of same old, uh, work has been busy and uh, I am living my lockdown life. I talked about this briefly last week, but I just feel like now that we're in lockdown 2.0, let me actually knock a light on. Better. Uh, now that we're in lockdown 2.0, it, you know, it's round two, second version. We should, you know, have made some improvements. Like we've learned some things. We've learned from our mistakes in lockdown one. And um, yeah, it's 2.0. It's time to just, I don't know, live our best lockdown lives so that's kind of what I'm trying to do <laughs> but part of that is also recognizing that uh you know we just can't expect too much of ourselves right now <laughs> so one of the things that I talked about last week and I actually did a whole video on this that's gone up within the last week so if you'd like to see more about it check it out I will link it in the description below and I'll even do one of those funny eyes that I never do in one of the top corners. I literally think I've done them maybe in two videos since I started YouTube. <laughs> but YouTube keeps telling me that I should be doing them. So there, I've added one of those eye things that you can <laughs> follow on. So basically I wanna make some positive and healthy changes. And I feel like now is the time. So, I have more time at home because even, I guess, the initial bits of freedom that we were starting to have when cases were down, a lot of that is, you know, being uh, scaled back as cases rise. So, I don't know, I just feel like I'm hunkering down for for the next, <laughs> next part of this great unpleasantness, as Jen likes to call it. I just would like to do something positive during this time. So... That's, that's what my thinking is, but also at the same time, just realizing that, you know, we can't expect too much of ourselves right now. So it's not like, you know, I've got these crazy grand plans. I just want to start making changes that uh, I think will make me feel better, um, that will be good for my health, and that will be things that I can actually like keep doing. I have so many exciting plans this week. I am going to be working, cooking, and staying inside. How exciting. <laughs> but honestly, uh, yeah, I will just uh, take you along on a typical week in my flat. Uh, we will do some cooking. We will have some avocado bagels and we'll have some chats and yeah. That's pretty much it. This is what my face looks like when I'm too tired to function. So it's later on in the day. Uh, I have just worked solidly through till about half three. I did make a bagel at one stage while on a call um, and ate that and that was nice. But other than that, it's been, uh, yeah, pretty back to back. So I'm gonna take a bit of a break now. Did I, is it half three? Yeah, I think I have a bit of a break. Do I? I don't think I have another meet until four. Yes, so I'm gonna take a little 40 minute lunch break right before the end of the day because uh, I deserve it. And um, I'm gonna give my sister a call and just have a little chat with my family so I can just zone out of work for a little bit. Otherwise, I think my entire brain is gonna go to mush. <laughs> and also I could do eat with eating something. 
Mm. My family get really mad when I call them and then I'm also trying to make food because it sounds horrible like as I'm rustling bags and things but I'm just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I actually finished on time today and I'm so happy about it. <laughs> this is an achievement. <laughs> I've actually already gotten into my pajamas and then I've put this really cozy jumper on over. I think I got this from Primark, uh, but it is so soft and cozy and I'm just gonna cuddle up on my sofa with myself and watch some Netflix. I've been enjoying just sticking on some really cheesy movies lately. Uh, what have I seen? So I watched Nice Girl Like You and Can You Keep a Secret? And they're both incredibly cheesy. <laughs> But they were just good. It was like exactly what I needed was just something to completely take my mind off work. Something to get lost in. I don't know what that is on my face. Who knows? Uh, yeah, it's just nice to watch something and just get completely engrossed and shut my brain off for the evening. So I have been enjoying that. Sometimes I just feel I go through phases where I watch loads of YouTube and not much telly and then... I kind of flip and do the opposite and just watch lots of telly and not much YouTube. So I think I'm going through a bit of a film phase now, a bit of a Netflix phase. <laughs> so yeah, do you know what really annoys me, right? There's a YouTuber that I watch and she recommended it's similar, like a cheesy rom-com movie and was like, oh, it's on Prime. And then I went on Prime and you have to pay for it. And I was like, so it's like a fiver on Prime. Uh, don't recommend it to me and tell me that it's on Prime. And then I go, I made the effort to go back to her video to find out what she recommended, searched it in Prime, and then it was five pounds. And I was like, I'm not paying five pounds. I'm not paying five pounds on top of my subscription to watch the movie, like to rent it. No thanks, I don't do that. That's not for me. Um, I'll maybe do it like in an exceptional circumstance if I really wanna watch something. But like, I'm not gonna, pay five pounds just for a random rom-com when there's loads of them on there that I can watch for free and I just did not appreciate that. It's Thursday, just so you know. Um, I am just approaching lunchtime on my day. It's been as usual crazy, but I'm gonna make an avocado bagel and you guys know how much I love an avocado bagel. However, I have a bit of a gripe with my avocados. So I got some of the like ripe at home avocados and it said they'd be ready in a week's time. It's now a week and a half and it's like rock solid. And I don't know, I've heard things about like putting them in the oven and stuff, but I kind of tried to heat one of them up and then it went a bit weird. So uh, that didn't work and it's still hard as well. So it didn't even soften it. That's my work noises going off in the background. Anyway, that noise actually like great my soul I need to mute my laptop so I did procure for this week a ripe avocado so we can have avocado bagel yesterday you'll have seen I actually had egg whites and mushrooms instead of avocado and mushrooms and it just was not the same I'm telling you guys avocado and mushroom the combination it's just amazing so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna try and have a little lunch break it's gonna be really little <laughs> I'm gonna try really hard. <laughs> Any tips? Let me know. I'm not. St I'm storing them like outside the fridge, just on my counter. Uh, but yeah, I've heard about the oven thing. Maybe I need to give that another go. You guys, let me know in the comments. Never know. You always have great tips for things like this. And I need to ripen these avocados. <laughs> oh my god, you guys! I didn't film any of my avocado bagel. It's like it never happened. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, guys. I know how much you love the avocado bagels. So I'm gonna insert some historic footage here. And I promise you, my avocado bagel looked just like this today. And it was delicious. I literally think I inhaled it in one. Oh my God, I was so hungry. <laughs> I'm now just making some coffee. It's some uh, Tusker House coffee. And uh, if you watched my vlog, don't know which one it was. Can't remember. Um, <laughs> I uh, have been struggling, I think it was actually my daily vlog. I've been struggling with grinding my beans and then using them for the French press and they keep like slipping through the French press, but I think it's doing a lot better now. I've just ground them a lot coarser, like as in I haven't ground them as much. So yeah, we're having some 
toast her house coffee and also I realized <laughs> like an idiot because I just kind of threw some beans in and then ground them and then poured them straight in the french press I was actually using a lot more coffee than I would normally do because normally with the ground coffee I just take you know my coffee scoops I have my little mickey scooper and it's two scoops in the little scoop thing and I wasn't using that I was just like chucking some beans in grinding them and then throwing them into the french press and then when I actually measured the other day I measured with my scoop like how much ground coffee I had. I had double, if not more probably, probably more than double what I would normally put in my French press. So I also overloaded it. I think this thing is still, it's still good. We're gonna, we're gonna keep using it for now. Sorry, I know my like bench is really messy right now. Also, I don't think I've ever called my countertop a bench. Unless you're watching like too many American YouTube videos. I'm just FaceTiming with Rachel while making some pizza. How are you? Yeah, I'm making wrap pizza. <laughs> barbecue pizza. With barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> <gasps> I didn't put on the pineapple. Oh my God, emergency. So Rachel's convinced me not to add the pineapple. Because <laughs> no one needs pineapple on pizza. Also, no, that's not true. And what's my, what do I say? Your opinions don't belong on my pizza. <laughs> but also, um, I, the pizza's a bit far gone, I think, to be adding the pineapple in now. Hi, boys. And the pineapple's supposed to go under the cheese. I've already got the cheese on there. <laughs> Let me tell you guys about something that really grinds my gears. <laughs> when you get a tin can, like say of, I don't know, coconut milk, like what I have to make a curry today, and they don't have the handy little thing to pull the can open and you have to use a can opener. <sighs> I don't even know if I have a can opener. Yes, I do. We have a can opener. Okay. So yeah, I just don't know why. Why? Why would you make cans like that? It's really annoying. Let me know in the comments down below what really grinds your gears. <laughs> scratching last night when I got out of the bath and came back into the sitting room when it was dark and then I've been hearing these weird squeaks and like every little noise that I hear now I'm like it's the mouse but do I even have a mouse I actually don't know so I'm freaking out a little bit <laughs> like my flat's on the first floor, so it's not the ground floor. Oh my god. <laughs> just my phone. See, I'm so jumpy. <laughs> so it's super late now. I have actually been editing this vlog to try and get ahead of myself because I like to get some of it done before the week is out. And uh, I didn't realize how late it was and it's like half one. <laughs> I did have a uh, lovely chicken curry earlier, but I didn't take any footage or a photograph of it. But I can promise you that it looked really similar to the one I made last week. So if you really want to see it, you can just check out last week's vlog. And I might even do the fancy eye thing again. We're going to do it once. We might as well roll with it, right? <laughs> I want to show you actually a couple of things that I have had delivered. So uh, I got some frames from Amazon, uh, which you can see here, these black ones. But then I got these really cute prints from Etsy. So I'll link the store in the description box. The uh, Etsy store is Heart to Heart by Helen. Uh, and yeah, she does these really cute prints. So this, you saw that pumpkin one. And then I got another one. <laughs> which is happy 
pumpkin spice season aren't they so cute now i know we're coming to the end of pumpkin spice season but i just thought they were really cute and actually what i did was buy those ones and a pack of christmas ones and i just got them all together so i'll be able to swap out the uh autumnal ones for christmas ones there's actually one more that i got in the pumpkin set and it is just three pumpkins but i just haven't been bothered to take that one another frame out and do that one yet and i kind of need to figure out where i'm gonna sit these frames i've just got one on my table and one on my kitchen counter uh, but yeah, I need to figure something out. I was actually thinking of maybe putting them up on the wall because I've got this really annoying situation, right? Let me show you. So you can see my TV is here and then my TV is centered opposite my sofa. But then I've got this like weirdly off center picture. So I feel like I could put like maybe three pictures here and that would kind of center it somehow, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but it really annoys me that that random frame. So that frame that I showed you is in the center of the wall, but obviously the TV is not in the center of the room. So like, like maybe I need to do that, but no, I can't really do that because of my desk and stuff. So it just really annoys me. It really bugs me. The symmetry is just so off. <laughs> okay, we're popping into the bedroom. I have some more advent calendars. So I actually didn't realize I got the vegan one, but I got this uh, Joe and Seth's uh, popcorn advent calendar. And it's so funny because uh, we were talking about it in the live chat last week for this vlog. So if you don't know already, my weekly vlogs go live on a Tuesday at 7 p.m. and we have a premiere. So we have a live chat where you can just pop, uh, pop along. I'm always there. You can chat to me and everybody else that comes on a weekly basis. But yeah, someone mentioned, uh, was it Mark? Oh, I can't remember who said it. I feel like it might have been Mark uh, mentioned that he had got the uh, Joe and Seth's uh, popcorn advent calendar. And I was like, hey, me too. And then uh, I think Audrey then purchased it afterwards. I think someone uh, messaged me on Instagram afterwards and was like, I've just purchased it. <laughs> and I bet a few others have as well because there was loads in the uh, description box talking about it. But anyway, I didn't realize I'd gotten the vegan one, but I'm not mad about it. My plan is to go home to Ireland next Thursday. So in next week's weekly vlog, uh, Ireland is in lockdown right now like the UK is. Ireland's actually a lot stricter right now, uh, but I'm still able to go home. I just have to stay in the family home when I get there, which is fine, obviously. I just want to go home and see my family. I have no interest in going out or anything like that. And obviously, you know, with the world the way it is right now, I am staying inside as you have observed this week. Uh, so... Yeah, I just want to get home. I just want to see my family. I want to see my sister now that she's back from Canada. And yeah, I haven't been home since August. So I just miss them. And it's just getting to that time now where if I don't get home now, uh, I know I'll start to like get the home anxiety. So I'm just sort of teetering on the edge of it now. I just really want to see my family because I miss them. And uh, yeah, I think that kind of going home next weekend is a nice sort of uh as in like to go home august then end of october and then christmas it kind of like there what's the word like it bridges the gap between uh august and christmas nicely i think that's what i mean so like i i'm always kind of going just short of two months uh without seeing my family so that's about all i can handle to be honest <laughs> Good morning. So I'm just actually on the phone with my family and we're all making coffee. We're all making Joffrey's coffee. So I have my Tusker house in here. And what you guys have, Sana? Yeah, did you make a Sana? I made Sana. Show me. Oh, there's my mommy. Hi, mommy. Mommy, you're never in the weekly vlogs. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks, ma'am. Where's dad? Where's dad? Dad's just come back from a run. Nice seeing your beautiful face. Thanks. <laughs> and where's Buzz, Rachel? He's eating his apple. Oh, he gets very excited about his apples. I love pressing the coffee, it's my favourite part. Um. Okay, wait, press. Stroll. Oh. He does this and Dad finishes breakfast. Yeah, he's like, it's walk time. <laughs> I'm myself inside of the 
Saturday. I am actually just getting ready to film my video that I've been talking about about starting a more healthy journey I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. I guess it's a weight loss journey um, but also just you know a general health improvement journey and yeah I'm just getting myself sorted to start filming that. I'm feeling a bit nervous about filming it but I really want to share it and a lot of you guys have messaged on that six weekly vlog saying that you would really like to see it and I know like I said last week I have been looking for relatable content on this subject and I'm not saying that there's none out there I'm just saying that a lot of it that's out there for me is not relatable that's what I was trying to allude to last week uh, I will leave a link down below to that video because it will be up already and I'll leave it up in the oh, I think I already did that though didn't I Pretty sure I did. My battery's now flashing, so I'm gonna go get myself set up for this video. So I've just switched over to my phone. I feel like my phone has some sort of auto beauty filter or something because all of a sudden my skin looks glowing. Although I did just put on the Tatcha Dewy skin cream, but like it's definitely smoothing out all of my skin, I think. So just FYI, I think that's my phone. I don't know, I don't know why that's happening there. <laughs> but uh, I'm on my phone because I stupidly did not charge the batteries from a camera and I now need to film this video. Uh, so that's kind of delaying me. I was hoping to film and edit this and get it up today, but now realistically, it's not gonna go up until tomorrow. And this is why I should never commit in advance <laughs> to when I'm gonna get a sort of extra video like this up. I feel like the Tuesday vlog at 7 p.m., is the extent of the commitment that I can give right now and everything else just kind of needs to go up as and when I can do it. Sorry, the phone is super wobbly. Is that better? There we go. Yeah, so <laughs> sorry about that. I'm sorry if you were waiting for it on Saturday. I have just put up an Instagram story, but also my Instagram stories are being really weird because it's only letting me do one uh, section of a story at a time. Normally, you know, it'd let you roll over into three stories on a video. It's not letting me do that. So that's super annoying. That was really stressful trying to like say what I needed to say within the time limits of each of the videos. Anyway, I'm gonna let these batteries charge for a bit. I'm gonna make myself a coffee, I'm gonna chill, and uh, then I'm gonna film that video. And yeah, then I'm probably gonna head to my boyfriend's. He'll come and pick me up and I'll stay with him for the next few days, which is, as you know, normally when I cut these vlogs off. And yes, they are my birthday cards still in the background. No judgment, please. It was my birthday in May. So while we are waiting for the battery to charge, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys these really cute pumpkins. So my lovely friend Sarah, who has the uh, Instagram account Family Home Project, has knitted these and aren't they the cutest? And it's so funny, there's actually like a really, really funny story behind these pumpkins, which I'll tell you guys now in a second. But I wanted to show you the other items that I have on my table first. So yeah, I've got these three pumpkins, they're so cute. You can message her on Instagram if you're interested in getting any. I just think they're amazing, I'll get to keep them, put them away for next year and then take them out again. You guys know how I feel about pumpkins. Then I've got my pumpkin spice card here. I think I talked about that last night. And then these are my decorations from Amazon. I actually linked them in the video last week, but I'll link them there again. I love these like cute little acorns and stuff. And then I have my Jambo House wax melt that I talked about last week. Last week. Can't get my words out. Quite a few of you guys last week told me that you were gonna get the wax melts. So it'd be so cool if you would tag me on Instagram and let me know what you've got. And then, uh, yeah, we can share our Disney scent pictures together. <laughs> but it just like makes me feel so happy that, I don't know, like I might've brought you guys some joy through that. Obviously not me personally, I didn't make them, but you know, I recommended a small shop as well on Etsy. Um, and you guys have then purchased things from them. I don't know, that just makes me feel really happy. Not that I think I'm like some kind of influencer, that's not what I mean. I just mean that like through watching my channel, you guys have found joy through something that I have and then also supported a small shop. I just think that's a really nice thing. <laughs> 
So I have my camera back on now, <laughs> got my battery charged, and I've just finished filming that video. So like I said, I would really appreciate it if you check out. Uh, I think it went well. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I talked about it a lot um, but obviously I just had a lot to talk about so yeah it's probably going to be a long one um, but I hope you have enjoyed it if you've watched it by now and if you haven't like I say I would really appreciate it if you would check it out but yeah I don't know I kind of feel really good after it I just feel like kind of like a weight's been lifted and um, not because I was nervous about the video which you know I said I, I was a little bit nervous but uh, that's not why but more that like I'm putting it out there and so you know this is now the time for me to make the kind of changes that I've talked about in the video so yeah I just feel really good I feel really positive and um excited actually really uh excited to share my journey with you and excited to uh, to to do it and to make some changes and you know I talk about it in the video but initially like the changes are really small and uh, we'll just work on it as we go it's going to be a learning process for me for sure uh, but yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know <laughs> it all went well uh, I wanted to talk to you about one or two more things before I close the vlog out first of all uh, some of you were asking about the uh, non-alcoholic gin from last week I actually only tried it this week and it was really nice I highly recommend if you're looking to cut down your alcohol intake I will leave a link down below to the company that I bought from it is uh, it, it's not cheap like it's I think it was 22 pounds for the bottle um, but uh, it tastes just, it had like a ginny taste to it. I just had it with a plain uh, tonic and some lime. So I did actually get to like, you know, really taste it. And I think it's really nice. And um, I think if you're trying to cut down your alcohol intake or I don't know, maybe if you're pregnant and you want to still enjoy a gin and tonic, uh, it might be something for you. I have no affiliation to the company. A friend just recommended them to me. And, uh, you know, she had just found them randomly herself. So there's, there's yeah, nothing. I just really like it and wanted to share it <laughs> and also uh, some of you were asking about my baked oats recipe last week as well so I'll leave a link down below again to the video that I saw the recipe in initially and I've kind of made some tweaks you'll see this morning I did it a little bit differently but basically it's just uh, porridge oats like rolled oats uh, milk and then I put in um, egg whites and then I add bacon powder so that you can help it rise. And then you kind of just put whatever you want in. So I'll put protein powder in because I feel like that makes it uh, more filling. I'll add a flavoring like caramel. I'll add fruit like banana. You can add like really anything you want. It's kind of your thing to throw together. I think you'll see today I added cinnamon and I added some cacao powder. I did find that uh, I did get a lump of cacao powder at some time uh, when I was eating it and I think cacao powder can kind of do that it kind of clumps a bit and it doesn't really mix very well uh, so I don't know if that was the best addition I actually think I probably preferred it without the cacao powder and then on top of it I've used cashew nut butter and a little bit of the low fat like chocolate spread thing that I have and uh, some coconut what you call it desiccated coconut uh, but again put whatever you want on top of it it really is one of those things that you can just make your own and throw whatever you want in but I think the core ingredients are just to have your oats and like have your proportions like you would kind of make your porridge oats so like I put the oats in I have the milk kind of go up so that you know the oats are covered and then I add the egg whites so there's more liquid to oats that makes sense because obviously the oats are going to expand etc so yeah anyway i'll leave the link to the video of the girl that i seen make this and uh her name's olivia uh jarvis she has a really big youtube channel and uh you can go watch her video or you can just give it a crack yourself <laughs> i think she gives more precise measurements if you want to go check hers out actually i wanted to show you guys this lovely set that i got from lisa who is life with lisa on youtube and instagram i think actually her handle on instagram is the funky fairy yeah it is so it's the funky fairy on instagram but yeah i think uh, life with lisa on youtube and i'll leave links to her channel and instagram down below but yeah she sent me these amazing planning tools so basically uh this journal 
and then all of these different inserts and it is so amazing also i love this a beautiful day starts with a beautiful mindset and just to say this was actually gifted so kindly to me um i was actually so shocked that she gifted this to me because i was interested in buying stuff from her store and i love supporting small businesses on etsy so uh, i would highly recommend you go checking her out and i will definitely be purchasing some items from her to add to my collection but she had some stock that uh yeah she was i guess uh, had in sort of backlog and so she shared it with me and oh thank you so much lisa i love it so i've got things like uh to-do lists and they just pull off and they've got i love these little tick box things and um, i've got a meal planner if you guys are going to watch my video that went up already about <laughs> making some changes meal planner is definitely something that's going to be in there um monthly goals like this is literally so perfect for what i'm trying to do in terms of planning ahead uh to be successful with like making some changes uh for the better in terms of like health and wellness and all of that um these will be like monthly stickers and stuff there's so much in here i was actually so overwhelmed when i got it um and then there's like these additions like notes and stuff but there's a uh, monthly version so she sent me all the different months and stuff as well like i'm actually so overwhelmed i was so so happy when i got this package uh so thank you so much lisa honestly this is just like it's too much <laughs> i was honestly shocked when i got it um but yeah this is uh the weekly planner and stuff and it's just going to be so perfect i'm so excited to start using planning stationery i'm normally really bad at this kind of stuff but i've been uh really inspired by watching her channel and uh, yeah that's actually what i messaged her just to say i was so inspired by watching one of her planning videos and then uh, she offered to send me this stuff which is just so nice so thank you so so much and i'll link her store down below as well as her socials i would highly recommend you check her out because this stuff is fabulous <laughs> She also has a monthly subscription that you can sign up to. Um, and again, I just wanna like reiterate, although uh, Lisa sent this stuff to me and it is gifted, like she's not asked me to talk about it. She's not paying me any anything like that. It's not, um, it's not sponsored or anything like that. She just really kindly sent me some stock that she had uh, when I said that I was really interested in uh, her planning videos. So yeah, it's just, it was such a lovely gesture. And uh, like I say, you know, I will be uh, purchasing some additions from her store. I'm so excited for uh, maybe some like Christmassy stuff to come out. I feel like she might be coming out with something Christmassy. So I'll be checking in uh, to see if there's anything like that. And uh, yeah, definitely with the meal planning and stuff, uh, it's gonna be super helpful and just planning my week out and setting monthly goals, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, highly recommend checking her out. And so guys, that is actually gonna do it for this weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it every week. I love reading your comments on my weekly vlog. So please do leave me a comment down below. Thank you to everyone that comes and joins my Tuesday night premiere. You guys always make my Tuesday night. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next week. Bye.